dun 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 so I guess we'll be camping out for the next few days we are getting our um, kitchen renovated so this is what the kitchen looks like before so we're gonna change the bench top and tile the backsplash and then the rest will still be the same it's just a matter of changing the bench of that one and this one and then we're gonna tile that area and that area as well so hence all our stuff are packed away here in the dining area ready for the guys to do their thing Okay, so a few things happened. Um, so, the best of the benches, uh, one here and the main one being here, cut out a few bits and pieces. This is the new sink, um, and we've taken out all this stuff at the moment. This will all go back in and be refitted. Um, this, the switches have now been changed around, so now they're over here, and we've doing stuff with this one as well uh, and tomorrow the plumber will come he'll install this tap here and this is the tap which will then go onto here tiles um, will be all along here along this wall and that wall, the side wall and then along here um, this wall and this other wall just here and then there's also going to be some other tiles which are just located along there. So all the wall there will also be tiled. Mm -hmm. And then we'll get our hob back and everything. So uh, the hob being the elements we cook on just here. Yeah. So. That's day one. That's day one. Big change already though. <laughs> Excited? <laughs> yes. But notice now how much bench space we have now that it silly drain board's gone and how deep the sink is. Come have a look. Can I, I don't the... have shoes on, can you show them? Okay. How deep the sink is. This is how deep the sink is. We can wash a lot of stuff now. <laughs> yep. Yeah. And that's the old sink out there. So that's very old and this is brand new. Look at that, all shiny. Am I excited by this kitchen transformation? Yeah, I'm pretty excited. Is my wife excited? Yeah, even more excited. But it's great to see that this um, kitchen has a lot more light, a lot more colours, a lot more transparent in terms of the design. And it's awesome. So we're very excited and we can't wait for the next, um, next few steps to go before the transformation is completed. So we'll uh, take you through the journey step by step um, we'll let you know when the tiles are done ovens and all that and then of course the finished product after of course we've painted the green cupboards <laughs> but uh, yeah that will come eventually cool and then we've got another exciting project coming up in a few days as well so stay tuned and yeah and I'm back again as we can see we have now progressed even further with the tiling so what you can see right here is the lower set of the tiles are now completed um, we've gone up to about this point so far so just spanning down just up to here and it's going to go up to a certain height level here and on this wall here so ta-da this is our it's new awesome. kitchen it still isn't complete yeah it isn't complete yet yeah. You know that. I know. <laughs> I know. I'm just going to show them okay. that right. we've cleaned up. So remember how dirty those are. So we've cleaned it up. We've wiped everything. So now the drawers can go in.
welcome back. So here we can see the uh, lovely uh, designer inspired kitchen by none other than my lovely wife. But as we can see here is these lovely tiles. They come in a nice what you call grey grout. And uh, we've still got the existing hob that we did have in the previous kitchen as well as the oven. Um, but all the new quartz laminate bench top is coming along. It's very nice and smooth. Over here we have the, uh, the tap, and it runs quite nicely. It's cold water, and it's even hot water. Wow, pretty good technology now, wasn't it? <laughs> Lovely deep sink, no more draining board, beach space utilised. Perfect. And then we've got these lovely grey drawers and everything, which we really have, but now they, make, they look even better now, because we've got all this. And so that goes all the way back to here. So one, two, three, three and a half meters. Yep. And welcome back again. <laughs> we have to turn in order for this uh, for this video to continue. My apologies, but let's continue. So here we have the uh, second bench, and it's I think it's quite neat. We've got our lovely tea set here. Got the lovely again tiles and this lovely silicone grey seal. You can't quite see it, but it's just there. Uh, a random wooden block here. It will get painted white eventually, um, but it's it's amazing. And um, we highly recommend Hire a Hubby. Feel free to go to their website, hireahubby.co.nz, where you'll find the lovely people who are more than willing to look at your house renovations. This but is not sponsored, by the way. It's not sponsored at all, exactly. <laughs> but, um, oh, they did a fantastic job. Communication was good. Um, they didn't push with what they wanted. They listened to what we wanted. They understood and they delivered what we wanted. And that's the main thing. So, fantastic. Thank you so much. Um, this is one project down, but many more to come. And, yeah, we can't wait to show you our next project. Thank you so much. God bless. Hi guys. So another thing that we need to do is to get the deck done. So we have like a patio back area that we don't use because the pavement is just rugged and there's always weeds in between the pavement. So we have decided to cover it up and, and turn it into a deck. So we have um, builders today that came over to start doing the deck and I'm just going to show you guys how it looks like before. I They're actually doing it already so it's not like really before before but this is how it looks like at first. So while the boys, as you can hear in the background, are doing the deck, um, I'm doing my own cleaning inside the house as well. So I'm just going to show you what I'm going to do. So we're in the master bedroom. So what we're going to do now is first, remember that purple um, closet door? We took them off and we're going to paint it white. Second is me and Sam are going to switch sides. So I used to be here, then I'm going to switch here so that we could have the bassinet here. So what I would want to do is move the bed just a little bit so I have more clearance in this area. So that's all our stuff. I'm going to declutter that as well. I've got all the desks here. So this is mine. This is Sam. We're just going to have to clear that area and then declutter switch sides and we'll be ready for a baby and paint the closet. So this is day two of the deck area. So they've finished that area, completely finished. That's that's it. And they've also done up the foundation in this side. And this is yet to come. So for today, it's been really fiddly with doing those. 
because they have to have the right amount of gap in each wood and with this weather they were still able to do a 12 hour shift so i'm still fine with that so yeah and are you happy with it babe yeah it's well, good yeah it's uh <coughs> would you say it's half done or probably probably about a third eh? a third yeah about a third done yeah yeah, yeah. and it's turning quite big huh i thought it's not gonna be this big yeah but yeah there you go that's day two of the deck work Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas, babe. Merry Christmas! <laughs> yahoo! Yahoo! So it's the 24th already, and we are just having our breakfast at around what time is it now? It's a very late breakfast. It's cool past 11. <laughs> it's a quarter past 11. That's really late for a breakfast, but early for a lunch, which is very good. So we're just a having. Brunch. Yeah. We're having oatmeal. I've been craving for this. Apricots and Sam. <laughs> and oatmeal. <laughs> and oatmeal. And apricots. So we've got the Christmas lights on. We have actually got the carols going, but I turned it on pause for a little bit because I'm going to vlog. Yeah. So, yeah, it's just going to be a very chill Christmas. Yeah. We're just gonna be here at home. Of course, tomorrow is Christmas, Christmas, and I'll be spending it with family. So today, um, so in Philippine tradition, twenty-four is technically Christmas already, but um, so we're just gonna have our noche buena. We're probably not gonna stay until twelve. I don't know. Let's see. And um, yeah, just the two of us, and then tomorrow we'll be with family, and we'll be unwrapping gifts later. Mm. Because you can't wait. <laughs> the agenda a Christmas movie mm. with our cat monks. Yes. We just need to catch a live one. Catch a live cat. How about that? Should we catch a live cat? Maybe it's Christmas. Yeah. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. And then remember the doors, the purple doors. It's all white now, freshly painted, and it's dry now. So we're going to install it back to where it belongs. of the deck area they almost finish it but not quite so just this area left and that area over there but they've done up this area and this area the whole lot and yeah it's almost finished hey babe very exciting very, very exciting, exciting. So Sam's going to finish the last bit of the painting here in the kitchen. So he's painting that green stuff into white. And also the pantry. And this big fridge area. So this is what it looks like before. And then we'll show you the after later. When Sam's finished. Hey babe. Yeah. yeah. So this is what the kitchen looks like now that Sam has painted it. So the major difference is that's white already. And remember this big chunk of a green thingy? It's gone. The pantry as well is white. So he's painted everything white now. There you go. He still hasn't removed the tapes. Not he hasn't put back the door handles. We'll just let it try for tonight. And yeah. 
So we have a perfectly white renovated kitchen. It looks brand new because it's all white now. I mean, we left the gray. I guess we love gray. But I love that it's all matching now. It's all the same now. Nice. guys we are on our second day of doing the patio and um, hopefully the last day as well and um, so what we're gonna be left to do is just to put oh, baby's kicking to put more of the white stones more of the pavers and doing the plants as well the planting that we wanted to do so we'll be planting rosemary's lavenders and Boston ferns because I just want it to be green all year round so yeah and then let's see how it will look like after So this is the finished product of the patio. So this is what it looks like. We just have the umbrella closed as of the moment. And yeah, that's what it looks like. So today our next job is to clean up the garage. And I want to show you what it looks like. So don't judge. We're going to clean it up, okay? So this is the state of our garage right now. Well, you know, who really uses their garage? Garage is only for storage. So hence boxes and all the other stuff. We're gonna dispose most of it. Like most of this gonna you know, be disposed of and yeah, we're gonna see what progress we're gonna get today. So Sam just went on on his first trip to the tip to get rid of the stuff and I'll show you what the garage looks like right now. So it's looking a lot clearer. We're gonna get rid of more stuff. That pile goes to the recycling and we are gonna donate some stuff. And also we have got our first delivery of the bargain box. So. It's on the doorstep now. Let's see. There you go. It's the first bargain box in a long time. This is the bargain box and we are getting the five nights for two. So we're going to try to unwrap this. And... And put it in the fridge, the stuff that's in here. So here we have got the Indian barbecue lamb burgers. You've got the barbecue, the barbecue chicken salad, 
we've got the speedy Japanese chicken noodle stir fry. There you go. The epic bacon loaded wedges. Oh, so he has and the Mexi beef burrito bowl. So that's the recipes. Okay. Wow, it's all stuff in here. And they also give you the breakdown of the stuff that comes in the week's um, box so you can check it if you've got everything. Big one. Got buns, six pieces of buns. Check. There. What's next? Baby spinach. Baby spinach. Where's that spinach? Ooh. Lettuce. Lettuce. <laughs> Why you didn't know it's a lettuce? Looks funny. <laughs> Oh, nice. Lettuce. Okay, stay there. I'll. Yeah, you just pass them to me. Got half, half head of the cabbage. Perfect. Got three carrots. Actually, it says two, but they give three. No, oh, thanks. Bag and box. It's <laughs> three carrot. We've got one head of broccoli, one bell pepper, a capsicum, as they call it here, one zucchini and or courgette, an avocado, three tomatoes, this is to go in the fridge, the potatoes, in the fridge, we've got Mm. Hi, okay, Hello, Onion. Oh, this is the garlic and the ginger. So we got red kidney beans, chopped tomatoes. We've got chickpeas. We've got two udon noodles. So we've got pound of bread crumbs. We've got jasmine rice. We've got the Indian burger spices. So they come in this box. If they have spices, they come in this box. So it's just you just pour it over. We've got peanuts. And the Middle Eastern spices. Tex Mex spices. Beef burrito spices. Oops, sorry. And oven chip spices. No, I think that's the meat. Then, so everything is really included now. You still got the you still have have the staples, but it's usually salt, pepper. Ooh, look at this! So this is how they pack their frozen or cold stuff. It's like what is it? It's like wool. Yeah, it's real weird. It's like an insulator thing. Yeah, it is wool cool. Wool cool. <laughs> yeah. So that's nice. And then maybe you can give, do you give it back? I don't know. I'll keep it then. So it's it's in the fridge. Oh, yep. Pita. Garlic pita. Fridge. Yogurt. Uh, sour cream and. Uh, sour cream and yogurt. You know, natural plain sweetened yogurt. Yeah. Yep. 
Ooh, got the teriyah. So they also make sauces. And when you get sauces, it comes in this packaging. Teriyaki sauce. Hmm, sweet corn as well. It's free farm bacon. And also you get really good quality meat with this one. Ground beef and ground pork. It's free range chicken fillets. Two. And we have a what is this? Lamb mince. And also with this one, they pre-portioned everything already. So that will be just good for a two person. And then they would give more if you have the package that's for five person or blah blah blah. So on and so forth. Get up. Oh. That is it. And then I don't know what we do with the wool. We keep it. Maybe you can give it back or we can reuse it. Lord, thank you for this wonderful food. Thank you for this day. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for this beautiful, delicious food we're about to receive. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Oh, straight to this. I knew it. Of course. Bottom. Just come out. Ooh, look at that. They have good. Mm, mm, they got good mm. pitas, eh? It's really good pita. So we will have three each. Separate them into three. Your whole, your whole thingies. They don't have these other thingies. I don't know what you call them. The round little things. What's the round one? These, these things. Chickpeas. Oh, chickpeas. <laughs> they call chickpeas, baby. Chickpeas. Okay, okay. I don't know. The round little things are cheap. So this is our first bargain box. This is the chicken pita breads pockets. And yeah, it took us 20 minutes to do this because we're doing it together. And do you like it? It's yum. Nice, eh? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's eat.